In this video, I will show you how to install GameConfig for GTA 5 game. I will install GameConfig for version GTA 5 to 3028. But in this way you can install GameConfig for other versions of GTA 5. GameConfig is needed for the game to work after adding new DLC. For example, after installing new cars in GTA 5 game. If you don't install GameConfig, then your GTA 5 won't work, it won't load story mode with mods. Therefore, in order for GTA 5 to work with mods, we need to install GameConfig. To install GameConfig for GTA 5 to 3028 version, you need to download it. But at the moment this new version is only available on raised mods with the NVE graphics mod, because the update has not yet been released on the GTA 5 mods website. It will appear on the GTA 5 mods website in a few days. Therefore, download this graphic mod Natural Vision Evolved. There in the archive there is a new version of GameConfig 3028 for the new updated version of GTA 5. We also need to download the OpenIV program, Pack File Limit Adjuster and HEP Adjuster. We also download Script Hook 5 from the official website. After that, we need to open the GTA 5 game folder, where we have the GTA 5 application icon. Open the script hook 5 archive and open the bin folder. Copy the file dinput8.dll and script hook 5.dll to the GTA 5 game folder. Open the pack file limit adjuster archive and copy all files except text ones to the GTA 5 game folder. We also open the hep adjuster archive and copy all files except text ones to the GTA 5 game folder. After this, you can delete the three archives that we installed. We don't need them anymore. After that, open the Natural Vision Evolved Mod Archive and open the optional add-ons folder. In this list you need to find the GameConfig folder. Open this folder and copy the install GameConfig. We no longer need the archive with the graphic mod. If you do not want to install a graphics mod, then you can remove it. Next we need to install the OpenIV program. To do this, run the OvaSetup program and install it. We accept the terms of the program, there is no need to change the installation path. Next, launch the shortcut on the desktop and select the Windows version if we are using Windows. Then we simply indicate the path to the GTA 5 game. And click continue several times until the program activation begins. Next we turn on the edit mode button, because if it is disabled, then we will not be able to install the mod. After that, go to the Tools section and go to ACI Manager. Here we need to install everything, click on the Install button. And after that we can close this window. Now you need to install GameConfig, you need to install it through the OpenIV program. Select it and transfer it to the OpenIV program. After starting the installation, you need to select Install in the Mods folder. Game config installed. After this, you can add add-ons and new cars to the game. Let's launch the game and check. After launching, we see that the game version is new. The game has loaded. Now I'll spawn a few new cars and check how they work. Everything is working. The cars have spawned and the game is working. If you install new cars and do not install a new game config, then the game will not start for you. Therefore, game config is needed so that we can add new cars and other add-on mods to the game. I hope you enjoyed the video, also subscribe to the channel and like it. Thank you all for watching.